Hello again, and welcome back. Well, here it is. We did it. We're seeing peak fall foliage in Central Park, and it is a stunning day. In this video, we're going to take in the beauty of these final fall days and talk a little bit about what's been inspiring me lately when it comes to fueling the creative mind. Come and see. It is Monday, November 13th, and I think this is about as good as we're going to see it get to peak. We have a lot of weather moving in, it's much colder today, there's still a lot of green, but I think, I think this is it for us. So I think I missed a lot of it. It's still very nice out. Yeah, I think this is definitely um, as good as we're going to see the color this year. I think even the ducks are ready for winter now. Still got a lot of green going. So, so long as we don't get a lot of rain and wind, the color might actually stick around for a little bit. I'm hoping even through next week, through Thanksgiving. But if it doesn't, that's okay too. It's so beautiful out here. Ducks everywhere. I'm using a new phone camera, so I hope this doesn't end up jumping all over the place like it has been. I don't know why you make a new phone with a worse camera sensor. But I guess that's not really up to me. It does a pretty good job of picking up the light. It's just very jumpy. We seem to have skipped through fall now. We're moving straight into winter, which I don't mind. I prefer the cold. One of my biggest dreams is to spend a year in Svalbard, which is the northernmost town uh, in the world, up in the Arctic. So apparently I'm just crazy like that. Yeah, this is pretty nice.
So I'm not here for more than a workout today. Today is really, since I've been stuck inside, I've really hit a wall with writing. Um, so came out here in the cold to try to get, you know, some inspiration, some creativity flowing. Uh, one of my go-to fixes is usually reading, you know, that's what writers do, we read everything. Um, as of late, I've been reading a lot of short stories. I find those really inspirational, especially when it comes to either one, getting into the mind of a character, just like diving straight in, or two, uh, reminding me how to just tell the story, which is something I think we very often get hung up on, is, you know, you start, you start getting into it and you want the details, but you don't want to get caught up in them. You know, you really don't want to get caught up in the weeds. So, uh, my go-to right now for uh, character-driven work uh, is Robert Sheehan's new book, well, new-ish. I've had it for about a year now, and I keep it in my bag with me so that I can kind of keep referring back to them. I read a new short story every week with it. His book is really interesting because, well, I think because he is an actor and he really seems to write in that same way that you would dig into and find a character uh, to portray on stage, screen, whatever. Um, and that's how he writes. So I found that to be really interesting. Um, and another that I've gone to a lot over the years that I actually keep screenshots of on my phone uh, are these two pieces by Marco Denevi, uh, Apocalypse and Genesis. And I think they might even qualify more as like flash fiction. They're each just one page. And it's just, to me it's genius because he just, he gets you there in the first sentence. He paints the picture, he tells the story. And as a writer of long form fiction, um, that really helps me to keep perspective and um, also to just try new things. So that's what I'm reading right now. That's why I'm out here. I'm thinking about these things and hopefully as they sink in through my walk, they're going to come home with me and translate to the page. So, fingers crossed. In the meantime, we are looking at these gorgeous views, the beautiful trees. And we're just gonna keep going. Oh, it is so beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Not loving that the sun's already going down though at two o'clock. No, wait, three, four, three, four. No, three. It is three. <laughs> oh, this time changes are ridiculous. But that is gorgeous. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> and we keep going. We do the exercise, fuel the brain. Brain is not working. Brain is not working right now. Sleep would probably help with that. But given how much construction is going on at my place, sleep is not an option. So I just keep going and going and going and going. But we come out here and we look at this. It makes everything feel better. I love these days. It looks like a very Arctic sky to me, so I'm uh, 
I'm gonna pretend that there's just a polar bear around the corner and that uh, I get to go home and snuggle in and write. <laughs> I need to write. <laughs> Look how beautiful though. It's perfect. Gorgeous fall here. Oh, it's so beautiful. I think this is as good as it's gonna get. And it's not bad. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay. So I finished on the track for today. But since it's so nice out, I'm not really ready to go home. So I'm gonna try to follow this bridal path down to the boat pond again. I think we saw a peak with them last week during the marathon. Uh, but let's just go see if there's anything left. 